the city came to us and said, will you consider a signature bridge? It's a very prominent location in the skyline. It's a picture postcard view of the city. We began the project in about 1998, and it was a project to reconstruct the Western Gateway, which is really the Erie Canal to the Genesee River, the entire corridor. And late in the development phase of the project, we decided to take a quick look at the True Powell Bridge. When design work began on the bridge, very few recognized a change, and even fewer saw a need for one. We d did some initial inspections and found that the bridge had some serious, serious uh, problems that we need to address at some point. The True Powell Bridge had a long history of problems. For the last 40 years, before the bridge was finally replaced, it was a frequent topic in newspaper reports, letters to the editor. It even inspired political cartoons. This project was unique in that members of the community could contribute ideas as to how the bridge would be created. We chose the form of the bridge itself. Rosalind Goldman sat on the committee. The Aesthetics Committee was made up of people who were artists, engineers, neighborhood people, and the design people came and proposed to us several different kinds of bridges. And we chose the most sweeping, the most dramatic bridge. Members of the Aesthetics Committee volunteered their time for nearly two years, beginning in 1998. They regularly contributed to project plans. We actually had the consultant develop about uh, six or seven different design alternatives and what to replace the bridge with, ranging from a steel uh, girder bridge, very similar to what was there now. It was a leading contender. We even looked at something as exotic as a cable state bridge, but uh, the span was kind of too short and you'd have to tear out the entire bridge to build it and we didn't think the public would like that for two years. The arch design was an obvious choice. Most of the structures seen along the river take on that theme, but this time, the dynamics of the frame bridge took on new meaning. The view that you would get from the river and the buildings in downtown are sort of framed by the bridge, and that's one of the reasons is because the bridge is so open. People identify cities with icons, with bridges and buildings, and the, the feeling of having a bridge there that's uh, just a symbol for the city. Kurt Mueller, our news.